and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bagley and today we are back with a brand new episode of Sim Sim Bloom Legacy Challenge. So here we are with Hayley and little Heather again. This episode is going to be super exciting because exactly as I was saying, it's Heather's birthday today. And in two days, it's actually Bailey's birthday. She will be turning into an adult. Also, I think I saw Florian coming. Oh yeah. There he is, he just came to visit for a little bit. But you know, it's always nice for Bailey to see her little brother though. Oh, little Heather is crying, but it's okay because Arya is coming right up to make sure she's alright. Change her diaper and stuff. And she's on parenting level 2 as well, which is great. Oh yeah, and also today I need to join a video game tournament because it's already a Sunday and I think we haven't done one this week yet. Should we try a professional one? She's not gonna win it, but why not? We have a little bit more money to spare now, so I think it's so I think it's okay. Oh my god, also Honey is expecting kittens? Congratulations, Honey is expecting. They're going to be some new little paws around the house. That's so adorable. I did tell Honey and Bean to breathe at the very end of the last episode, if I remember correctly. So I guess this is from that. Oh my gosh, that's exciting. We're getting some new cats. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and age up Heather after Bailey is done with her tournament, which is gonna take a little bit anyways. I mean, you know, sometimes I like to wait for babies to age up to toddlers on their own, but sometimes I'm just too excited. And like, it's her birthday anyways, so why not? I think I'm gonna spend this time with Aria and the cats because I really want Aria to get closer to cats because like I mean she lives here now and she doesn't I guess know them very well but I wouldn't say no she just doesn't spend all of time with them I guess oh did you just throw up who just threw up was it was it honey is honey sick she's incredibly cute but I don't know if she's sick she doesn't look very sick and neither does bean so who just puked all over my floor? Okay, Bailey is almost done with her tournament and I really want to see if she wins. So let's cross our fingers. Never mind, it turns out the other competitors in this tournament were better than Bailey. No prize this time. I guess that's okay. Seriously, which cat is doing this? And now let's just go ahead and let's age up Heather. Oh, I'm super excited. All right, here we go. We're already getting some gifts. Little Heather! Oh my gosh. What trait should we give her? Um, I think Klingy would be a good one because this is gonna be our next gen sim. And for that generation, the sim is supposed to be very like introverted and stuff. So I think Klingy would fit that pretty well. Oh, little baby. All right, I'm just really quickly gonna go ahead and give a little makeover to our little Heather over here. All right, I'm back and I finished giving our little Heather a makeover. So here she is. I think she's the most adorable toddler I've ever had, literally. I'm so obsessed with her. Like really, I just love her. I think she's such a cute toddler, like, oh my gosh. Also, this took me way too long, not because of like giving her a makeover, dressing her up, but no, no. I decided I wanted to recolor the hair so that she would have purple hair. And so I did that and I thought it looked really cute. Honestly, before like I even adopted her, like just for this gen, I was kind of planning to like do natural hair as a toddler and then kind of like maybe that she colors it purple as a teenager but then i saw her and i was like nah she would look the cutest with like pastel purple hair oh and also i thought she looked like really like cute and unique if i added the like skin condition called vitiligo so these like little skin patches and yeah all right so this is her first outfit i think it's really really adorable this is her formal outfit very simple very cute this is her sleepy outfit the little chicken pajamas that's like super adorable this is her party outfit again very cute oh wait her hair oh i really hope this won't be like an issue i hope the hair will stay the color it's supposed to stay all right anyways we were at this swimming outfit 
This one is so adorable, like the big bow at the back. This is her hot weather outfit. Like, come on. Look how adorable she is with like the little koala hat as well. I can't. This is too much cuteness. And then we have the cold weather outfit as well. Again, this little jacket is literally like so freaking adorable. So yeah, that's our lovely little Heather. So let's just hop back into the game. Okay, I guess the next thing I should do now is actually do her room. Alright, I have finally finished. So here we've got Heather's little room. I think it's super adorable, like this little part with the little like homemade house and like the bar blarfy and little um little toys and then she's got like a really cute bed this is like the most purple bed i could find for some reason and then also this part um like i love the purple mushroom chair with the bookcase i think that's super adorable and then also the purple potty and she already has her little DIY kit already because I mean I'm not gonna go through the rules yet but basically she is going to be like a very DIY-ish sim and in the meantime Bailey you can just do some more video gaming maybe, maybe do another tournament if you can actually no you can't just play some games because I really want to um, max out video gaming we can totally do that this episode and then I just need to focus on programming and that's it. So that would be pretty perfect. Also, Aria is really sleepy, so after you're done, actually it's really late. Never mind, it's like 11 p.m. I'm just gonna put, okay, she can't do it. I don't know why. I'm just gonna send Heather to bed and Aria is going to sleep as well. And I guess Bailey is just doing some late night gaming. You know, it'd be like that, let's be honest. Yeah, well, she's not gonna uh, max out the video gaming skill right now, but in this episode, we gotta do it. Heather is awake first, and she's about to go wake up Arya, but I'm not gonna let you do that. I know you're hungry, and don't worry, I'm just gonna get you food, okay? There you go. See? Not a problem. And she's gonna eat on her little mushroom chair. For today, though, I am kind of thinking to go to the vet clinic today. Just because, oh, never mind. Wait, honey is in labor. We're getting kittens, but she's sleeping. Okay, whatever. I am thinking to go to the vet clinic today with Bailey because tomorrow is actually Bailey's birthday. She has one day till she ages up. Yeah, I won't really be able to go to the work tomorrow or like to the vet clinic. So I'm just thinking it would be nice to go today. All right, I'm just gonna let Bailey get something to eat and then i'm gonna go to the clinic also uh aria is going to work today i think this is the first day of work for her actually wait oh my god honey's in labor how did i just like completely ignore that should i be waiting for honey to give birth probably should right like i can work for not as long and just wait for the little kittens i guess there we go a kitten is born uh what should we name the kitten i didn't really think about that honestly why did it randomize the daisy i can't do that i no i'm not naming it daisy just not gonna happen it randomized it again the cat is not gonna be daisy it's too soon it's too soon <laughs> oh i just got cinnamon i think that's really adorable yeah one of the cats can be cinnamon uh bloom obviously and another kitten what's something that goes with cinnamon or like a, what's like a food that you put cinnamon on or instead of doing like a food that cinnamon goes on we could do like like a different kind of spice i guess and we can just do like vanilla for example we can have vanilla okay so we have cinnamon and we have vanilla bloom okay and it's two cats and they both look like little hon- oh gosh. And they both look like little honey. Okay, now it's like 10 a.m. already, so I'm gonna head to vet clinic today. Let's just open. As much as I would rather be home with Heather and little kittens right now, I do think it's smart that we go to the vet clinic as much as possible because we do need to like kinda max it out. Like it's not a normal career, so you can't like max it out to level 10, but I think it still would be fair if we like max it out to five stars. 
and that and we kind of like max out the career that way all right let's just take care of our first patient all right this little guy looks like he's gonna need a surgery station so let's move into there oh wait i need to do things my bad there we go and the cat is done you don't like the decor oh i'm not happy with how this place looks well i mean if you mean about how dirty it is then i agree but anything else you cannot complain about <laughs> all right let's pick an examining cinnamon oh you have a cat named cinnamon too that's so cute and aria came home from work and she's already been promoted to head dishwasher so that's amazing ba oh mabel's calling me bailey i wanted to let you know that i'm pregnant blank and i will be expecting a little one soon wait but you have a husband why was it blank i'm really confused aren't you married anymore did you get a divorce you were married to wait is he still alive i'm so confused i'm so confused about what's happening over there that i'm not even gonna question it <laughs> oh why are these Everybody is mad because the place is so um, dirty and then they're giving me bad reviews. Also, which cat is puking all over my vet clinic? Come on. Hey, what's up, sis? Want to see the new Simstagram meme I found? I thought it was pretty funny. What do you think? Um, they really get along, so she would just be like, lol, genius. Probably some inside joke as well. <laughs> I knew you'd love that. Yeah, they just get along so well. Oh wait, Little Meadow's an elder now. That's actually so sad. I think I'm just gonna close it right now. I know there's still some people here, but my bad. We've got quite some profit. Um, I did just, I did buy like an advertising today. So yeah, that's some extra money off, but I think we'll be fine. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It was a pretty good vet clinic day, I would say. And now I cannot wait to get home back to my little family, I guess. Oh, that sounds so cute. Oh my gosh. Bailey's gonna go take a shower after a long day of work. Oh, I got the feel the love interaction with Bean. That's actually perfect. And here is another one done. That's three out of five feel the loves. And we only need... We only need two more of those and then successfully train out one more misbehavior. But the thing is that my cats aren't really misbehaving. Oh, actually, never mind. Lecture about begging for food. That's actually perfect. All right, it's really late. Uh, so Arya's already went to bed. So Heather, you should do the same. Bailey, you need to head to bed too because tomorrow is Bailey's birthday. So we're going to throw a little birthday party, which is super exciting okay heather just woke up really hungry again don't wake up your mom please oh aria's already up oh wait heather made some mess over here i didn't even notice i would have lectured her if i noticed but i didn't anyways aria do you want to serve some breakfast because we're kind of getting low on food anyways so why don't you make some scrambled eggs and bacon oh heather came over here to you know see mom for like a little bit just came to check in on her that's so cute maybe we could do some morning plays oh look at these two i absolutely love this and then the audio cut out and wasn't recording for a big chunk of the video so yeah i am doing this voiceover i hope that's okay and not too annoying I couldn't just cut out the whole like part of the video because it was kind of important uh, because of like the whole birthday and stuff. Yeah, well, Bailey's just gonna go ahead and get some food while she gets a call because <laughs> you see this, Geekon is in town and well, Bailey would never miss a Geekon and her dad already invited her to one. So yeah we are at the geekon now which is pretty perfect for her like literally geekon on her birthday she could honestly not even have a better birthday i swear to god this is like the best of the best um for her so yeah here she is just chatting to dad a little bit while uh waiting for the competitions to start 
So also we brought Heather. She's just kind of wander. She's just kind of wandering around, and you know doing cute stuff. And oh yeah, Florian's back there as well. Bailey's just chatting to everybody while waiting for the competition to start. Florian is looking so damn fine as well. Like just saying. <laughs> Here we go. Bailey's about to do some programming first. She's like super confident in it as well, super focused. In the meanwhile, we just have our little Heather over here <laughs> in the spotlight for a second. She's just wandering around looking at stuff. Oh, and Bailey's about to finish the programming one. Yeah, she did really good. She got a pretty high score. Now we just gotta wait for, um, well, to see who won. So yeah, but I think it's a pretty safe guess, you know? Um, anyways, Bailey's about to do the gaming one as well. Well, little Heather is just bobbing to the music, which is so cute. But now she's crying because she's hungry. Um, so I was just trying to distract her, you know, do some stuff with her so that she would like wait for a second. Because Bailey just has to do the gaming tournament. Um, and yeah, speaking of her, here she is. She's doing the tournament. She's having the time of her life. Like, this is probably super fun for her. And no, Heather just came over to watch her. And there we go, she finished and we got the results right away. She got the first place and got 100 simoleons and a future cube, I believe. So that was very fun. Yeah, and then Heather was so hungry that she stole someone's burger. But you know, whatever works, I guess. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Um, and oh yeah, Bade is doing some gaming. And there we go! She maxed out the gaming skill as well, which was so good, so fun. Now we only gotta focus the programming, and even that is quite high. So yeah, we're pretty much really close to finishing her skills. And she also won the a programming competition, which is not a surprise. She got a computer from that as well. And yeah, then we went ahead and went home. Here we are at home. Bailey's just gonna give Heather a little bath because, you know, she can't be stinky at the party. Arya is gonna come home pretty soon. Yep, there she is. She's just gonna go ahead and bake a cake for Bailey. Oh, and first she's gonna clean because the kitchen is really dirty as you can see there's plates everywhere and you know we can't leave it like that for a party so she's gonna do some cleaning while bailey is doing some potty training with heather <laughs> and bean is helping of course this is important too you know um and yeah after and now bailey is already planning the party so here we go a little birthday party super fun uh, she's just inviting the usual people, you know, all the close friends and family. Oh yeah, and now <laughs> Arya is actually baking the cake. About time, honestly, the party's, are, the party's already starting. Here we are, Bailey's just chatting with some people already. While Arya just finished the cake, she's gonna put some candles on so that nobody eats it before you know Bailey can age up that's really important and now Arya is gonna cook some more food because you know gotta have some food at the party oh yeah and now Heather unfortunately she couldn't stay at the party for like any time really she's just going to bed because she's really tired but I guess that's okay you know she is a little and she's very tired so sometimes you know, you just gotta miss the party when you're a toddler. Anyways, everybody has arrived at this point. Even Florian with his weird ass cosplay. And yeah, we just gotta invite everybody to the kitchen. And Bailey's gonna blow out the candles. But... Oh yeah, but first you gotta pet the cat, of course. You know, gotta have the priorities. <laughs> and here she goes, blowing out the candles. Oh, there she goes. She's an adult now, which is pretty fun. Um, another chapter in her life finished. And now everybody's just and now everybody's just gonna grab some food and some cake. We're just gonna have some fun. Uh, she's gonna talk to dad and 
Oh, and uh, Adia's coming back, so uh, bye. Heather actually woke up, but she's hungry, so I guess you can just get some food then and then you can head back to bed. Oh, and she also had a nightmare, that's why she actually woke up. Sitting next to Leo, honey. All right, now it's time for Heather to go back to bed. Oh, and also the party is about to end anyways. This was a pretty cute birthday party. I think it was quite enjoyable as well. All right, the birthday party is completed and Bailey is just going to put little Heather to bed. Okay, but I think it's a pretty good time to end this episode here. I enjoyed filming this episode so much. I think so many fun things happened and it was so exciting. And well, I really hope you enjoyed it too. Let me know what you think about Heather's appearance. I absolutely love her. I think she's so adorable and I cannot wait to continue our little legacy with her. I hope all of you have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you guys next time. Bye!